All right, everyone, welcome to Street City Studio. I'm John, and in this video, we're going to set up another photo shoot. Uh, I still had the snow from Hoth back here, and I thought I might just leave that in there. It's probably not going to be the whole background, uh, but I had I kind of had some ideas already kicking around, and so I thought I'd get the camera rolling. Uh, I kind of want to do an iron fist and power man Luke Cage shot you can't even see them back there can you uh, they're not posed up yet but they will be soon right uh, I kind of was thinking I'll bring my alleys some of my 3d prints back in right? bring this alley in and I was thinking I might use this piece that I don't get to use as often as I like. Right? Maybe just to kind of front it off a bit here somewhere. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but I was thinking I might use this opportunity to... Uh, do some kung fu movie inspired, uh, you know, old, old low budget kung fu movie style shot here. Because that's, that's basically what Luke Cage and Iron Fist was, right? A lot of inspired by a lot of Hollywood kung fu movies and low budget kung fu movies and all that, right? Uh, so, I don't know if any of you follow me well enough to know, but some of you might, right? Some of you might. I'm a big fan of water margin and water margin figures. And we're probably not going to spend a long time talking about water margin today. Uh, but I thought it was a great opportunity to get some of these figures in here. Alright, we got... Oh, I just noticed Shi Jin's fingers broke off here. Uh, but that's okay. They come with a lot of extra hands and stuff. I'll just, I was thinking about swapping his hand, but I'll probably just try and hide it so you can't see so well. Because I have extra hands, but they're in that box. And I don't go through all that. I think I can just hide it. It's just those back two fingers, right? Uh, uh he's not standing up. Oh real well right now let me get this he's got this uh trident tri staff with a tri spear weapon um, getting his hand here and so now that that's in his hand i'll try and get him balanced better Still not gonna stand good. I'm gonna have to get in here. Why are you not standing? It's just one foot, I think. Pivoted just just a tiny bit, man. There we go. Okay, so I kinda just thought we'd do the two of them fighting the two of them. Lose Ancient and Xi Jin versus Luke Cage and Danny Rand. Uh, and it's, again, it's not going to be nothing, nothing too amazing, right? Nothing. There ain't going to be no big explosions or wild gunfights or nothing, but. Oh, uh, I will. I will say there is a. Couple props I could use, right? Well, let's use some props. I uh, got some barrels. I'm probably gonna use to fill this little gap back here, right? So you can't see that. Couple of 
boxes or something. Right, I got that dumpster, but that thing takes up more space. I didn't want to take up more space necessarily. Right. Just enough space. Right. And then I can bring it in tight. Right. And now we got a nice little background, see? And I still had some of that snow. I was even thinking about throwing some of my styrofoam snow out here on the floor, but uh, I probably won't do that. Uh, I do have this little blast effect from Captain Marvel from uh, this figure. I love this blast effect. Uh, a lot better than the effects that most of these Iron Fist figures came with. So I'm probably going to try and, yeah, stick that on his hand there. So I can get him a Iron Fist effect. That looks a little better than that one. I don't like that one that came with him and Mystique. Or not Mystique, uh, Psylocke. And uh, basically everybody that they needed a little effect. A human Torch came with that one. I almost wish everyone they gave that one to... They could have just gave this one to instead. Right? But now... One of the things I'm going to struggle with here is like, who's going to be back to the camera? And if not, how am I going to pull it off? Right? Let me get him right on the edge. And maybe have... Luke right there with him so that neither of them are faced away. Right? But I want some action here. I want it to look. There we go. I'll try and get which foot is going to be planted and which one's going to be behind him. Right? He's throwing the punch, so he needs that one. Something like that. That looks really cool, right? Yeah. I like that. Right? And so now I kind of... Just got to figure out these two here. And again, I kind of... Let me set him down. This, uh, this flame effect kind of decides... What I'm doing with it. Right? Because... If I turn his hand too much, ooh, there it goes. If I turn his hand too much, it's not going to look right at all. But if, if his fist is up like that, that's going to work, I think, real well. There. Right? And so, like this. If his fist is out like that, I don't love it so much. Right? Because the flames are licking... Upwards, I guess you would say. <laughs> so you got to look at how those flames, where those flames are licking. <laughs> just like, just like uh, this little thing, the tassel hanging off of his bandana. I don't like the position on that at all. But I kind of understand they wanted him to be able to move his head and still look like he's in action a bit. Whatever. Right. So I'm going to want to turn him. In, in a way that looks like he's about to attack or about to strike, I guess, right? He's not going to have much options with his legs, though, either, because he's out in the open here. I got Luke's, Luke's leg is kind of balanced on that curb. his back arm position. Let me see what I can do about that. I 
That's a little better, huh? Oh, it was till he fell over. Lighting on that now. Wait, there we go. There we go. I'll get she Jen back in here like this. Probably right here somewhere. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to have uh, Danny. I'm going to change his position. I'm going to have him blocking with his forearm. Now that I got them in there a bit, I can see. There we go. Let me... Ooh, I almost knocked him over, too. Let me see. Maybe not blocking with his forearm. Maybe grabbing. Something like this. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Let's see. That didn't take too much trouble at all. Let me see if I can get their feet in there better. and Not so much overhead. Right there. Oh. the focus and brightness something like that that's perfect what do you guys think let me know I'm gonna move around a little bit see if see if there's not a better angle too dark but and another thing is I don't love how dark this snow looks back here maybe I can I do have that other light charged up but I feel like that might be too bright for some of this oh you know what I might be able to just stick it behind my alley print here right. let's see how does that do Oh, that's, yeah, that's too bright. Let me back it up. Is that too bright? I feel like that's too bright. And it's knocking my thing down. Let me try from this side, maybe. Something like that. I don't hate that. I think I liked it better before. That's, like I said, that's too bright. It washes them right out. Hold on. Maybe if I readjust. There's a balance right in there somewhere. Maybe if I switch these lights, use this one to light them. Let's try this. Right. Look at that. That's pretty bright. And then this light that was on them. Ooh. Let me get that a little closer. 
holes here. Oh, too big, too big. Right in there somewhere. I really gotta get better lights. But I'm on a budget. It is what it is. Oh, right there somewhere. Yeah, I think that's about it. I don't know if we're going to get much better than that. So let me try again with these. Try that. And that. That's not bad. It's just not perfect. Well, I might, I might turn the camera off and play with it a while. I don't want to be too boring here. I know some of you guys might enjoy watching and hearing, but I don't want to be too boring. I feel like this is getting boring. But uh, we're just playing with the lights at this point, right? Where's uh? I'm not even going to worry about finding a joke prop, but, uh, maybe stick a hat on me, right? There we go. Stick a hat on me. Call it done. But, uh, as always, if you want to, uh, if you want to look me up on Facebook, you can follow me on Facebook, John Wayna, W-A-Y-N-A. Uh, please do me a favor and make sure it's toy related John Wayna. Uh, my dad's in, on Facebook and he's also John Wayna. He has no interest in the toys and the toy friends. Uh, but definitely, if you're interested, go over there to follow me on Facebook. Uh, if, if you're interested in my photography, uh, like the results from today, you can check that out on Instagram at Street City Toys. That's Street City Toys, uh, not Street City Studio like the channel here, but Street City Toys. Uh, and it'll, there's there will be a link in the description too, uh, link through my channel, link in the description, all that, I think. Uh, but check me out. Uh, as always, I appreciate you guys coming by and checking me out. Have a great weekend. Uh, keep playing with them toys. I'll talk to you again real soon.